So the rules. Okay, so briefly I'm going to talk about some things like blood sugar and some key hormones in the body. I'm going to identify what foods such ingredients are worse. There's a couple that are really big, big bad guys right now that are, that are sneaking their way through and have some real money behind them. Um, what I want to do is point those out tonight so you can be aware of them. Uh, show some proven strategies to get results. Uh, you give an eating strategy that allows you to eat what you want to eat as long as you also want to eat what I want you to eat. So there is going to be a little uh, extra effect there. Quick pro quo. Quick pro quo. See, lab. You guys get it all here. Nutrition information, culture, right? Good. That's right. Good. Do I do it? Next one. Sorry. I will. I will. Okay, right. Thanks for giving me a workout. Just real quick. Thanks for giving morning from 9 to 10.30. I'm doing, I'm doing a, an open workout. You guys are welcome to come. Bring friends. Uh, if you don't have friends, then, then just tell someone on the street that it's going to be really awesome, right? 9 to 10.30. But if you are working out in general, alright, here's, here's, here's going to be a fundamental part of the workout because there's recent research, and it's stuff that doesn't get talked about a lot, but if I have a meal I'm going to eat that I know is bad for me, and there's actually a window that's created following an intense workout of a certain strategy, which I'll talk about right now, but in that window, our, our muscles open up more than they usually do. And the muscles say, hey, you know what? I need a whole bunch of energy right now. I'm receptive to it. I'm ready to hear it. It's kind of like, let's say, uh, we, uh, let's see, we, we go to work at the start of the morning and there's some, some new guys at work and there's some new stuff happening and I'm ready, I'm willing to hear it. And I'm keen, I'm, I'm absorbing stuff. And then after, like, you know, I've been in the job for a while, I start to tighten up a little bit and I think I know how things are. I'm not absorbing information as much. If we work out in a certain format, you actually have a five hour window that opens up. It opens up at the start nice and big and gradually shrinks down as the five hours go on. But what it means is that when the body takes it in, instead of going to the waistline, it likes to be absorbed by the muscles and organs. So if I'm worried about what's here, I want to make sure that I eat my reward meal or my Thanksgiving dinner following an intense workout. So if you don't come work out with me, Definitely make sure that you get a workout in that is 30 minutes long, or about 20 minutes, 20 minutes of this, this format with a five minute warm up and five minute cool down, where you are working out hard as you can for 30 seconds, and then with a 90 second rest. It's going to do two things. One, it'll increase the human growth hormone in the body, naturally, from the inside out. When the human growth hormone is part of what we use to, is something that boosts our metabolism, it's something that uh, helps repair muscles in the body, it's something that basically makes us feel real good. It will also reduce cortisol. Cortisol is what kind of gathers around, what, what causes things to gather around here. It's a stress hormone, not that any of us are stressed, not that any of us could do with a little bit of reduction in cortisol. There are tablets you can take that, have, that, that talk about cortisol being the key. Cortisol can't be absorbed by the stomach. Okay, I, I cannot, won't make it through the stomach. The acid in the stomach will basically destroy the cortisol. So if you're eating something, it doesn't have cortisol in it. It's got different factors that attempt to influence cortisol, but the best results come from influencing it from the inside out. So just remember that, your cortisol. Cool. So a five-day window to eat, increases the human growth hormone, decreases cortisol, body will store the energy in muscles rather than waistline. Body will store the energy in the muscles, not the waistline. That's important to know, because if, if, when I start exercising again, what's going to happen is the body's going to say, okay, I need some energy. Give me some energy because I've got to get this done. Imagine the fat in the body needs to be changed by the liver into, into things that we can use. So basically, I've got my fat in the back storeroom, but right now in the muscles, if I've got energy in the muscles, the body will say, great, let's use that. That's my most readily available source of energy. So let's think of it this way. If I have a certain amount of things I want to spend, let's say I've got to drain this bank account. I can have the money that's in my wallet, or I, have to, or I can head down to the bank, get the stuff out of the bank, wait for the bank manager to come and make, make sure that it's all good and they'll show my ID, and then get the money out, and then I can spend it. But if I've got it in my pocket and it's ready to spend, I'll spend it more readily. <coughs> we agree? So the same principle happens here. Good. So if we understand that, then there's going to be a key part down the road. Hormones you must know. Blood sugar hormone. Insulin. Alright, so insulin, someone's a 